Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Georgiev. Um, today I'm going to show you how I fix my generator. In this case, this is a Honeywell. You have probably the same generator or something similar. The most common problem in these generators are they cannot start very easy. They have a hard time starting the engine. Let me make the long story short. When I got this generator, there was a big problem how I mentioned to start the engine. I also have a leaking valve the fuel leaking valve from here and uh, some other issues with, with the vacuum pump I guess and the priming pump and everything else those the rope was damaged uh, I spent like 30 minutes bypass the valve I start the engine the engine was working uh, not very smoothly but it was working at that point I decided to go with the moped uh, gas tank or bicycle conversion kit that they're selling so I purchased only the, the gas tank um, I looked for another options but I couldn't find anything to be easy to mount over the over the existing body of the generator so the little handle that is over here was perfect for this one I spent probably less than $20 I'm not mistaken $18 I got the gas tank with the valve so let me show you uh, some of the older parts that I took away from this generator and then I'll show you how I made the conversion and how I'm going to start the engine and turn off the engine this is all the parts that I took away this is a gas tank probably it's a gallon, gallon and a half I don't know exactly so this is the exit from the gas tank and it goes all the way with the hose to the valve. So this is the valve, this is the vacuum pump, this is the priming pump, this is the filter and this is the jet that is going on the intake uh, between the engine and the carburetor. So how the system is working. When you turn on the valve, the fuel is going inside the vacuum pump. When you start priming, the fuel is going through the filter and through the carburetor. When the engine start working, the vacuum that is created over here between the head and the carburetor on the intake is going to create vacuum through this hose and it's going to start moving the pump inside. And this is going to supply fuel to the engine. This is the charcoal filter. Um, the charcoal filter, the purpose in the charcoal filter is to prevent any gasoline smell evaporations inside the garage when you store the generator. Uh, I can't remember how these hoses are connected, but one of them for sure is connected over here. This is a battery tray. The battery tray, this generator doesn't have any starter, but I have the battery tray inside. I don't know why they install extra parts and extra weight to the generator, but it, but it was there, however. And this is the little bracket that holds uh, the priming pump, something like this. All of these parts are kind of pricey, especially the valve, the vacuum pump, the priming pump. Uh, if you buy them today and replace them, probably after a few months they're gonna be in the same bad conditions like this. I took the cover so I can show you the carburetor and the engine inside. Uh, right over here is supposed to be the gas tank, all of this is empty. This is the room for the valve. Somewhere here was the vacuum pump, priming pump, and somewhere here was the charcoal. Now I have the gas tank from the moped here, connected on the handle with two brackets, the valve, the hose. Hose is going right over here, straight to the carburetor. And right over here, on the intake, I plug with the little bolt 
the uh, room for the jet that create a vacuum for the vacuum pump. This is the choke and this is the automatic control of the engine speed depend how much power you need this is going to open the throttle and close it down so today I'm gonna start the engine this is completely cold engine I left this uh, generator with some fuel probably three months ago um, I used some fuel stabilizer right over here and today it's uh, no mistaking it's uh, August 23rd the weather at Phoenix is little cloudy but it's still very hot probably around Turning off the generator, um, you can turn off the generator anytime you want with the original switch on and off. But if, if you have to store the generator for a long time inside the garage or for transportation, I would recommend to use the valve, close it down. All the fuel is going to go to the carburetor, the generator is going to burn the fuel. And you're not going to have any fuel inside the system and the carburetor. Why I'm recommending this one? For transportation purposes, of course, um, leaking and any anything like this, but especially for storing, if you have fuel inside the system, probably after a week, two, three, five weeks, the fuel is gonna get gummy. It's gonna clog all the jets inside the whole carburetor. That's why I recommend to turn off the fuel from here, let it burn, and keep the carburetor empty. Next time, when you turn on this valve, the carburetor is gonna be clean, and you can start the engine right away without any problems. So how to start hot engine? This is the choke. Probably you have to keep it halfway or no choke. It's all depend. Cold engine start, choke on. When you start the engine, keep it halfway. When the engine is warm up, completely open. This fuel stabilizer, I will recommend this one. If you plan to store the generator for a long time, how I mentioned it, this, I didn't start this generator for three months or maybe over three months. And I have some of these um, fuel stabilizer inside the, the, the tank. And this is also very important. Never ever fill the gas tank on the generator when the generator is working. If you overfill or by any conditions, this generator can catch on fire, especially with overfill. If you have to 
refill this little tank on top turn off the generator be careful fill the tank close it down start the engine again if you want to buy a bigger tank there is a little bit bigger tanks if I'm not mistaken you can buy bigger gas tank probably is close to one gallon or something like this please don't forget if you install the gas tank on top the way how I did it it's gonna be a little difficult to move the generator because you're losing the handle you probably have to ask for a second person to help you and carry the generator this handle is not gonna be in position to be used anymore and one more thing because all of this area is empty the generator is not balanced the heavy part is over here this is the light part be careful I hope this video is gonna help you to restore your generator to working condition again thank you for watching my video please subscribe and I'll try to keep posting more interesting videos thank you very much